Fluorescein angiography is a medical procedure in which fluorescent dye is injected into the bloodstream. The dye highlights blood vessels in the back of the eye so they can be photographed. First doctor will take fundus pictures with regular fundus camera. If any abnormalities are found in fundus, doctor may recommend a fluorescein angiography to assess if the blood vessels in the back of the eye are receiving adequate blood flow, if there are any leakages or any abnormalities. Doctor will perform the examination by inserting standard dilation eye drops into patient's eyes and give a fluorescein dye injection in a vein of the arm. Patient is then asked to rest the chin and forehead against the camera's supports so that head remains still throughout the examination. Then doctor continues to take pictures as the fluorescein moves through the blood vessels into retina. The complete test procedure is divided into early phase, mid phase and late phase. In early phase, doctor will interpret circulation in arteries and venous. In mid phase, doctor will interpret filling of dye throughout retina bed and microvascular circulation. In late phase, doctor will interpret evacuation of dye from the retina and vessels. This complete procedure is helpful in interpreting the AMD for any central vision loss and planning a laser treatment for DR patients. Smutscope FA is an advanced and modular device that delivers high contrast and quality fluorescein angiograms. Let's go through the steps for achieving optimal image quality during a fluorescein angiography examination with Smutscope FA. The device is powered on and off by pressing the left soft key. Attach the optics module by pressing it firmly into place. To detach the module, slide the release button. The module can be used with an eye cup to give additional stability during imaging. Attach the eye cup by pressing its base around the lens ring. Select preferred focus mode by short pressing the right soft key. With manual focus selected, you will need to adjust the diopter scale for the refractive error of the patient. By pressing the up and down arrow keys, you can change the focus point of the camera. After selecting correct diopter, image can be captured without additional focus adjustment. Simply approach the eye until aim help square turns green. Capture the image by pressing the shutter button to second position. This is the easiest usage mode for inexperienced user and it is also highly recommended for non-cooperative patients. Auto mode works in the same manner as in any other digital camera. When auto mode is selected, camera will start focusing immediately as the shutter button is pressed in first position. To capture the image, press the shutter button to second position. When AF or MF assist mode is selected, camera will take an image automatically when aim help square has turned green. The shutter button must be kept down until camera focuses and an image is taken. Otherwise, AF assist mode works same way as autofocus and MF assist mode as manual focus. Infrared and blue light is used during the capture. Select right illumination level by pressing the left and right arrow keys. There are altogether 10 brightness levels with a default value of 5. Suitable illumination level for most of the people is from 6 to 8. Prepare for the examination by making the room as dark as possible. It is recommended that both patient and doctor sit down during examination and the camera is mounted on a slit lamp stand by using slit lamp adapter. Adapter is placed on the slit lamp by mounting the adapter axle to the slit lamp holder. Pull down the latch to fasten the camera and optics. This will give ultimate stability for imaging as the patient's head is secured and will enable sharpest possible images. It is also possible to use the camera for patients lying down. Inform patient about the procedure. Confirm that patient is well positioned into patient headrest for imaging and confirm patient's people are dilated. Patient is asked to stay still and look at an internal fixation target. Activate internal target by pressing the left soft key. Move the target by using the arrow keys. To achieve macular centered image, select the middle target. To achieve disc centered image, select either right or left target depending on which eye is being imaged. After fluorescein has been injected, the study can be started. 
the study timer is started by selecting Start Study from FA menu or by taking First Image with FA attached. For every new study, user needs to go into the menu and select Start Study to enable time counter. To access the menu, press right soft key. Time counter appears on the upper right corner of the live view screen. The capture time is marked to captured images, but reader can also see it on the images. To stop the time counter, user needs to switch to FA Optics menu and press the Stop Study button. Start approaching the eye from about 10 cm distance. Keep the pupil in the center of the display and approach until you can see the reflection from the retina which appears grayish with infrared light. Keep the view of the retina in the center of the display and close in slowly until it fully fills the viewing area. If adjustment is needed to recenter on the pupil, use only very small movements as it is easy to lose the target. If the view is lost, just withdraw the camera a few centimeters and realign to the pupil. Capturing images is quick and easy. Five images can be taken within 15 seconds. Capture image by pressing the shutter button when aim help square is green. Aim help feature indicates to the user when the aim on the retina is good for taking an image. If the square is red, then the aim is not good and retina does not fully cover the image area. If the square is green, then the aim is good and image can be taken. Take an image is displayed on the screen until user clears the image by pressing the shutter left or right soft key. Image can be zoomed in the instant preview by pressing the middle key. Instant review can be turned off at FA menu according to user need. Images can be uploaded to any PC, laptop, tablet or mobile device through Wi-Fi or by placing the camera in the cradle. When Wi-Fi connection is used, then taken image will wirelessly appear on the computer screen right after image has been taken. Image transfer through USB connection works in a similar way as with any other digital camera. With Optimate Workstation software, the transferred images can be viewed, analyzed, and compared with one simple graphical interface and sent directly to the Diacom-compatible system of the hospital network. If you need more information, please visit us at www.optimate.com.